hello and welcome back again to the studio. It's me, Sarah, and I am here with Sergeard from Ivanti and Anna from Microsoft. So, folks, we've got lots to talk about. We have a whole 15 minutes, but Sergeard, first of all, we should probably um, get, let you have the opportunity to tell me and tell us about Ivanti, who they are, what they are. Give us, give us the lowdown. Thank you, Sarah. It's great to be here this morning. Um, we are a global leader in AI-powered security and IT solutions. Um, we've got around 3,000 Ivantians, talented Ivantians. Ivantians, that's like the name, is yeah, it? Yeah, I like that's, that. That's, okay. that's what we call, yes, who helps to drive innovation and customer success every day for our customers. And uh, we have global presence in 149 countries. Um, we work with uh, over 7,000 partners um, that helps to, you know, make a global impact and helps to get the global reach for us. Um, we serve over 34,000 customers, including, um, you know, 85 percentage of the Fortune 100 mm. and 45 percentage of the global 2000. We manage over 120 million enterprise users. Just a few then, uh, just a few. And uh, we make about a uh, uh, billion dollar in ARR. Um, so that's, that's in a nutshell about us. And in terms of uh, what we do uh, and our solution, right? we help customers discover all the assets in their corporate environment, and then once we discover those assets, we help them manage those assets, the entire lifecycle management of the assets, starting from provisioning all the way to decommissioning. And then we help to service those assets and the users using our enterprise-grade service management solution. And finally, we help to protect those assets and the users using our secure access solution. When it comes to our partnership with Microsoft, we are one of the largest ISVs in the software and digital platform ecosystem. So that's so about us. That, that, that's it. Just, just a, you're just a little <laughs> bit busy then, just doing a few things, I see. So, um, Anna, you are, and so Anna, you are also here. Tell me, why are you here? And what do we need to know about SQL Server 2025, which, of course, we also talked about in the keynote. So awesome. Yeah. No, hit me with it. Thanks for having me. I'm super excited to be here. Uh, it's been a really exciting week uh, for us, uh, for everybody, but us on the SQL team. Uh, we announced the general availability of SQL Server 2025. And, you know, this kind of culminates uh, over 30 years of mm -hmm. SQL Server, which is kind of crazy. Um, and, and with this release, like all our releases, there are some themes, right? Mm -hmm. uh, security, performance, and availability are always our top priorities. And we've done a lot of things in this space. One to mention on the performance front is optimized locking. So we're just really, you think of it as like, we're just trying to make you run faster without you really having to do anything. Mm. Uh, so that's a big one on the security front where we really support for managed identity with Microsoft Entra. Uh, we're getting more and more Azure Arc connected. Um, so this is going to unlock things like mirroring to Microsoft Fabric so all your data can land in one lake. Um, and we are also doing some things on the AI front, which I think Avanti's been uh, really uh, partaking in. We have, of course, support for vector search, vector embeddings, and with this release, we announced things for AI model management. So you can manage your models, you can create external models, and talk to them whether they're in Microsoft Foundry or if mm -hmm. they're running locally in the VM right next to your SQL Server. So it's a really exciting release, and we're, we're really excited to be here. Yeah. See SQL Server, I'm always, I'm not traditionally a server, per, like a server database person, but you know, whenever, uh, there's always a big fuss about when there's a new SQL release. It, it's a thing. And you know, uh, I, I should say, like during the public preview, we had over 100,000 downloads of SQL Server 2025. Which, so, yeah, which is, yeah, uh, people like SQL Server. It's a thing. It's, it's a thing. A, it, it's a were, thing. So, there was great participation for the pilot program as well. Yeah, right? exactly. Yes. You're yes. a great partner for that. Yes. Oh, yeah, we, lo we love feedback and previews. That's yep. a thing as someone who was a product manager once upon a time. So, Serjad, what are you doing with SQL Server 2025? What, what, tell me about why you chose it. What are you doing with it? And 
Why do you like it? Absolutely happy to explain that. But before that, congratulations on the SQL Server Thank 2025 yeah. GA. Uh, th that was a great accomplishment from the Microsoft side. So, uh, you know, for our platform, we use SQL Server as the persistent layer. Uh, so all the data is stored in SQL Server. Now, in order for us to bring AI capabilities into our solution, um, we had to introduce essential capabilities like vectorization, embedding that Anna talked about. Mm -hmm. um, so we have uh, um, started using uh, you know VectorDB with Elastic, um, but we had our own fair share of challenges with it, um, such as indexing, you know, large volume of data data movement, et cetera. We also evaluated uh, you know, some of the standalone uh, vector databases that are out there, um, such as Pinecone and ChromaDB, uh, but we had issues you know, or challenges with uh, data privacy and security and compliance. Uh, which so is when, never good. Uh, which is never good. As a security person, I'm like, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly, right? So, um, so uh, when SQL Server, uh, you know, working with Microsoft and when they shared uh, the roadmap of SQL 2025 uh, with vectorization included in, and, and embedding included in it, uh, we were like, you know, let's, let's work with the uh, uh, SQL team and then evaluate these capabilities. And guess what? Uh, you know, those were the capabilities we were exactly looking for. And, uh, uh, you know, we were able to introduce uh, all these AI functionality into the product without adding additional complexity into our architecture, right? Which is great for us. Yeah. And also without uh, incurring additional costs for us. Um, and overall, you know, if we don't add additional complexity into the architecture, it also helps us to accelerate the pace of our innovation for our customers. So those are kind of the things that we were able to accomplish with SQL Server 2025. Now, when it comes to the uh, AI-based features that we have uh, recently added, um, we, we have introduced uh, AI-powered search. Mm -hmm. um, so this is every enterprise customer is now looking for a Google-like search, right? They are, uh, yes. <laughs> right, so, uh, and for that, vectorization and embedding was essential. Uh, we have also introduced a conversational uh, AI-powered dashboard. Um, and then ours is a low-code, no-code platform. Mm -hmm. um, so for customers to... Uh, you know, quickly build application and customize application. We also have a functionality called text to code, which helps to automatically generate the code using prompt. And finally, um, an agentic AI-based bot. Uh, that's another AI-based uh, uh, innovation that's coming out pretty soon here. Nice. Now, um, obviously, you've, you've implemented this platform. And how's that been going with your customers? What have you been seeing? It's uh, uh, pretty good. So some of these functionalities are already out. Some of them, we're just waiting for SQL to go GA, right? Mm -hmm. So it's soon to be uh, announced. Uh, but we are working with a number of design partners and customers. The feedback has been great, right? When it comes to um, uh, SQL Server 2025, the way I look at it is, again, we use uh, we have been using SQL Server for storing uh, you know, relational data as well as unstructured and transactional data. Now with the vectorization and embedding, we are able to even use the vector data in SQL 2025. So I call this as a unified data platform, mm -hmm. right? So, uh, and it also helps us to avoid data silos. Uh, and I think that unified data platform, like that's really kind of what, what we're going for as well. Mm -hmm. We're going towards this one consistent SQL for the era of AI. Yes, and on that, Anna, my card, my blue card, <laughs> might actually be saying, tell me more about the one consistent SQL for the era of AI. What, what are we, what's kind of the vision there? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, as you've seen this week and folks have seen this week, SQL Server 2025 went GA, SQL Database in Fabric also went GA. And here we're kind of delivering on this mission, as you mentioned, for one consistent SQL for the era of AI from ground to cloud to fabric. And really what we're trying to do here is let folks innovate at their own pace wherever they are so they can develop once and deploy anywhere using their familiar T-SQL skills uh, and tools that are available. So everything we've talked about on the AI front that Avanti's also using is available ground to cloud to fabric mm -hmm. in all of our tools. We also have SSMS 22, which went GA 
this week and VS Code, uh, sorry, SSMS 22 went GA this week, which includes GitHub Copilot uh, for that contextual database awareness. We shipped the same thing in the MSSQL extension for VS Code. Uh, also with GitHub Copilot Ask and Agent Mode going GA this week. Mm -hmm. um, and the beauty about these tools is that they just work with all of the different uh, different one SQL uh, that we have um, today. So it's really been a, a beautiful journey. Uh, we're we're continuing on it, and and yeah, that's kind of a little bit about one one SQL. Yeah. Now I know, uh, without saying, well, ask it in a high level way because, what are you without giving anything away? Long term, what are you excited about? I'll ask the question to both of you. Um, what are you excited about, say, for the next 12 months in tech? What are you wanting people to do with the technologies that you work with? I'm going to ask you, Sirjad, first. Well, um, with AI and agentic AI, that's the you know, most exciting part for me uh, personally and what I see with our customers as well, right? Um, uh, the solution that we are building. Uh, that kind of helps customers to significantly increase their productivity and mm -hmm. efficiency uh, uh, with AI agents, uh, especially in an agentic framework where multiple agents in our context, uh, you know, helping to collaborate and fulfill the needs of customers. Ours is a persona-based platform where you have to serve uh, you know, customers all the way from the self-service users, people like us, and then the analyst, IT analyst, security analyst, and then the administrators. So the AI agents are going to help massively, you know, help to improve their productivity. So that's something super excited about. And all the technology innovations that are coming out uh, from Microsoft and others. We are a Microsoft shop, so we use... Uh, a lot of Microsoft technologies in-house. The platform is built on Microsoft tech stack. So all the announcement that we have seen uh, today and this week is super yes. exciting for us. So many announcements, so many of them. Remember, you can go to the book of news if you want to get a consolidated view of that because there's a lot. Anna, same question to you. Without giving, obviously, any kind of roadmap-y stuff away that you're not allowed to, what are you excited about in SQL land? Kind yeah. Longer-term vision. Absolutely, yeah. I think, you know, uh, to use the word frontier, which we've seen a we lot We love this frontier. Week. Everything's frontier. <laughs> <laughs> Still learning what that is. But yes, everything's frontier. And I, I think, like, this is a new frontier uh, for SQL, for us, for the world, for all the users, uh, similar to when we saw the introduction of cloud. Mm -hmm. Right, um, and and just like then, we went through a lot with the SQL community, the SQL users, to say, "Hey, come with us. We're going to the cloud, and this is how we get there." And so, I think it's a great opportunity for me to uh, mention something else we announced this week, Go which for it. is the uh, SQL AI Developer Certificate, which will be coming soon. And I think that's just an example. Is like we really see this future in AI, this future of using AI with SQL Server and Azure SQL and SQL Database and Fabric. And and we're not just saying like, "Hey, we're going to go do all this stuff." We're saying, "Hey, come with us." Mm -hmm. They learn how to use AI, learn how, because if, if, if our customers and our users this and folks like Avanti can't be wonderful. more productive in their businesses, for their customers, for their users, um, then, then what's the point of what we're doing? Well, exactly. And on that, flipping that question around a little bit. So there might be some people tuning in who are using SQL, they've used it for a long time, but maybe they're not quite as far ahead with modernizing and becoming frontier, if, if we want to use that. Um, what, what advice would you give them if maybe folks are maybe a little, because there's a big change coming with everything we're doing in AI and Agentic. If there's maybe some hesitation or concerns, what, what would you say to, to those folks who might be, you know, feeling like we're racing ahead and might, might be worried about adopting some of this new technology? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I, I think it's a great question. And I think uh, what we want to do is help enable people to feel comfortable, but also mm -hmm. know that we have guardrails in mm -hmm. place, right? Like SQL Server is an enterprise product. And we've yes. been working on these enterprise capabilities. You know better than any <laughs> that the security <laughs> aspect yes. of this is so important to us. So when it comes to AI, we aren't just throwing it at everything and being like, oh, yeah, send the data here, send the data here. No, we think very carefully about being responsible and making sure we're listening to you. So things like um, GitHub Copilot in SSMS, people say, we don't want that on by default. We want to have some controls there. We want to put some controls there. And we understand that. And we're going to you know, ease into bringing AI along for the journey. And it, it goes the same for 
uh, SQL Server 2025. Now you can you can use AI models that are hosted in Microsoft Foundry, or yep. you can deploy a model locally. So you can have more control over the security boundaries that you have there. So we're really trying to kind of listen to what customers are saying and give them what they need in that space. I would say be an early adopter program and then get access to people like Anna and other bright minds. <laughs> yes. So and now, works. last question, real quick. Where can people learn more if they want to? Do you remember? We're going to have the uh, CTA, uh, our uh, AK on the screen, but do you remember it? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, <laughs> it's a link to the SQL Server 2025 blog. It's going to link out to a bunch of things, mm -hmm. including more details from uh, Avanti and, and the, the great work they're doing. Awesome. Well, Anna, Serge, I'll thank you very much for joining me. And uh, we'll hand it back over to uh, the rest of the show.